Blessed love to everyone. Let me ask you a question now. Do you have a copy of our digital electronic book, The True Biblical Land of Israel? Now, if you do not have a copy of The True Biblical Land of Israel, to get a copy of The True Biblical Land of Israel, all you have to do is email us, priestisaac27 at gmail.com. This is the book that was once a theological paper. This is the book that we have issued the challenge on. That challenge being, if anyone can dispute and refute our facts, that according to the biblical description, the geography of the Bible, according to the information coming out of that specific book, the biblical land of Israel, again, described in the Bible, is Africa plus Arabia. And as I said, within the pages of the book, The True Biblical Land of Israel, we give the facts, we give all the references as it relates to the narrative of the Bible. And of course, we still bring in some archaeology and anthropology. But of course, the core, the core of the discussion is coming from the scriptures. So this is why the book, The True Biblical Land of Israel, is not a book to try to validate the Bible. It is a book that proves that according to the Bible, whatever the origin is or wherever it came from or whoever originally wrote it, that's not the point. The point that according to this well-respected book, the Bible, the land of Israel is Africa plus Arabia. So as I said, our ebook, all you have to do is email us and we ship it to you through the email. You find it in your inbox right away. And of course, your payments can be made right away as well as we utilize the PayPal. And the PayPal is the same as our email, priestisaac27 at gmail.com. And let me just say as well for a very limited time, and we'll tell you when the time has met its limit, we will be offering the book Anu, Ancient and Modern, with the biblical land of Israel. Listen to me good. So when you buy or purchase the biblical land of Israel, we would give you a free copy of the book Anu. Now the value of both is $20 each United States currency. So you'll be literally getting a $40 value for just purchasing the biblical land of Israel. And the same goes for Anu. When you purchase the book Anu, Ancient and Modern, we will give you a copy, a free copy of the true biblical land of Israel. And listen to me, I'm not done yet. And when you purchase them both, you would get a free copy again. When you purchase them both now, you're buying the two of them. We give you a free copy of the Night of the Black Tiger, which is not a book. At least it's not, not in book form as yet, but it is our more recent DVD uh, video documentation, documentary, the Night of the Black Tiger. The divinity of Marcus, Messiah God. And I can go on and on because you know we have so many other things to offer. And the point really is once you shop with us, we always have some gift to give you. That's really the point. So, as I said, the true biblical land of Israel, as I said, this is the book that is the challenge that has gone out where, where we have just one university at the moment that has even responded to the challenge. So that means that there must be something in the book that cannot be denied. You need to get your copy of the book. And as I said, payments can be made through the PayPal as well. So I'm looking forward to hearing from you. Blessed love. Yeah, give thanks, life give and the keep of life. Wonderful. Hmm. We are not going to waste no time. Glorify highly Selassie the first. We're going straight into it. And the reason why I had to tag this one, Black Hebrew Israelites, 
Beware. Check yourself. Jewish rabbis on the attack. <laughs> yeah, I just came across very much so today a video on the YouTube. And this video is coming from, I want to make this clear. If the pronunciation is wrong, please forgive me, but it is Karaite Jews of or for Judaism. That's Karaite Jews for Judaism. And this is a YouTube channel. And um, I'm looking at the host of the channel here who refers to himself as a rabbi. And it says here in its description, time for a Jewish rabbi to educate biblically the biblically mentally challenged fake black Hebrew Israelite cults and solo acts camps or no camps. So he's coming in heavy here and um, he is debunking, as he says, and exposing the fake black Hebrew Israelites. Now, what I'm saying here, listening to this is just about 12 minutes long. And um, I found it interesting, some of the facts that this fella here is trying to drop down. And I'm just saying, even to my black Hebrew Israelite brothers, you know, because I'm, really, I'm not really in the game of answering people. I mean, he wasn't directly speaking to me. But I'm not in the game of getting into people's beef and people's, you know, cross sword and, and, and flinging of words and such. But because of the true biblical land of Israel challenge and because it exists in the universe in our atmosphere and many people including the black Hebrew Israelites pretend as if they don't know nothing about it now you have this Jewish rabbi now jumping on your tail jumping on your case and what is interesting, you know, I'm reading some of the comments and some of you responding to him. His video has about just 200 views. 200 views. And you're responding to him and his 200 views. Where we have thousands gone into the tens of thousands of views in, in, in several videos. Highlighting the true biblical land of Israel being Africa plus Arabia, and we've issued the challenge. But anyway, anyway, for my audience, I want to um, run a little of this <laughs> reasoning here that the Jewish rabbi has. And he is directly directing this to the black Hebrew Israelites, which he referred to as the fake black Hebrew Israelites. Let's listen to this. Would make the remembrance. Now, obviously, I'm not starting it from the beginning, really. We're joining this in progress as such. ...of them to cease from among men, were it not that I feared the wrath of the enemy, lest their adversaries should behave themselves strangely, lest they should say, Our hand is high, and the Lord has not done this. Let's listen. You see that? No. It clearly reads that God would, not will, would make their remembrance to cease from among men, but he didn't. Why? Because it says he feared the wrath of the enemy and the fact that the nations would have taken credit for blotting out God's people hmm. from the earth, Listen. which would bring dishonor to God's holy name. That's a cut. That's a wrap. That's game over. There's no dancing around this. Deuteronomy chapter 32, verses 26 through 27 is the worst nightmare for the fake black Hebrew Israelites because it shows that any fake group, any fake movement claiming that the Jews would ever forget who they were are either lying or completely ignorant or both. It clearly says that wouldn't happen and even tells you why it wouldn't happen. There isn't a single passage in the entire Hebrew scriptures that makes the claim that Israel would forget who they were, ever, not a single passage. But, as I mentioned in many of my videos, I've made many videos debunking them. That's why it's getting boring. I've made and shown sure. that God says over and over that there would always Big man says it's getting boring. be a righteous remnant, and there always has been. Us, the real Israelites, 
an unbroken chain of family line going back to Moses at Mount Sinai. They can't provide that proof. We can. Nothing supports them. They even use Jeremiah chapter 17, verses 2 through 4, which says, Whilst their children remember their altars and their groves by the green trees upon the high hills, O oh, my mountain in the field, I will give thy substance and all thy treasures to the spoil, and thy high places for sin, and all thy borders, and thou shalt discontinue from thy heritage. This is what they use. Anyone with half a working brain, which is not what we're dealing with here, can see that the heritage is dealing with the land. They will discontinue from their land, referring to their exile. Hence, it refers to the altars, groves, substance, treasures, high places, and borders. They don't even read it properly. It doesn't say a word about them forgetting they were Jews. Not only that, if it was dealing with their ethnic identity, which it's not, which it clearly isn't, it would contradict Deuteronomy chapter 32, verses 26 through 27. Some fake black Hebrew Israelites will even try to use Isaiah chapter 1, this is the hilarious part, verses 2 through 3, to claim that Jews would somehow forget that they were Jews. This just shows how desperate they are to promote this made-up fairy tale, because aside from the fact that it's merely dealing with the Israelites rebelling against God, wow. Isaiah chapter 1, verses 2 through 3, isn't even a prophecy. In other words, it's speaking in the present tense, if you read it carefully, which they don't. Mm -hmm. It tells you just that. Yeah. It says Israel does not know, not Israel will not know, wow. does not know. Wow. Obviously, the Israelites knew they were Israelites during Isaiah's time. Mm. DNA is another undebunkable proof that... So, there's a big point there. They, they knew that they were Israelites during Isaiah's time. He just said that. They knew that they were Israelites, but yet still he's saying they, they do not know. Anyway, I'm not really here this day to try to argue with him in. In fact, I'm not arguing with anyone. Because to be honest, I watched this and then I watched half of it again before I decided to sit down and do a quick, not really review, but do a quick video and all of this. And as I said, I'm not really here to try to debunk him for trying to debunk the Hebrew Israelites. Got to be very honest, straight up. I know some of you said the same thing about me, but to be honest, man, he ain't making no sense, straight. The fake black Hebrew Israelites. You hear that? I mean, I'm listening to him, you know, and I hear the scriptures he's calling. I mean, it sounds pretty. And to be honest, most people, when you listen to them, they can talk sweet and talk pretty. That's why some people say, oh, you made the point already early up. Yes, because sometimes you have to drive home your points. And clarity is very important for me. Anyone that listens to me and watch my videos, anything you know, that I like to get the point out clearly. Even if I have to put an extra 15 minutes in my talk, just so you could understand the point. This isn't pretty words and to see who can quote the most scriptures and how nice your voice sounds. And then when it's done, you really don't get what you're saying. And this is the impression I'm getting here. But anyway, let's just continue. Cannot be the original Israelites because the origins of their DNA, E1B1A, points to the African horn. Now hear that. You hear the point that he's making there now. Their DNA points to the African horn. Who are you talking about? The fake black Hebrew Israelites. Now he's talking about the same Hebrew Israelites that say they have nothing to do with Africa. They're not Africans and here you have a Jewish rabbi now telling you that you are not one of his people the Israelis or the Israelites whatever he's trying to promote because your DNA shows that you are from the horn of Africa as far as that point he is correct your DNA will bring you back to the origin of civilization because that's where you're from 
this goof that's speaking here, yes, he's a goof. You don't diss me and just think I'm going to sit down and, and, and you know, I mean, you may say he's not dissing you. What do you mean he's not dissing me? You know, hear how the man disrespected my brothers? Even if my brothers and my sisters don't accept me as their brother, because um, some of them don't, because they're saying, you know, because I'm an African, I don't care what you think, I am a true African. And I hear them refer to Africans as stinking Africans with their confused. Yeah, my brothers and sisters, I'm telling you, those of you who are Hebrew Israelites, not those that follow the Benami tradition of the Mona, the rest that are into this 12, 12 tribe charts and, and the, the Haitians are this and the Caribbean people and people from Jamaica is this and the Mexicans is this and this one is this tribe and this one is that tribe, all sort of make up belief. Yes, yeah, belief, it cannot be proven. This stuff cannot be proven. And you have the nerve to disrespect Africans and, and at the same time, you have white people in your group. Huh? You have white people in your group and you're gonna jump, oh, you're prejudiced. This ain't no prejudice. Me prejudice, me prejudice. Listen to what I said. I didn't say you have white people in your group, you know. I say you are disrespecting Africans, disrespecting other black people, those from the continent. Anybody that comes to join your group, you try to sift them out to see who their daddy is. I even know people personally that were part of the Hebrew Israelite establishment, sisters, I've spoken about it already, who have African um, parentage, their father specifically. And because they were brought up and they, 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 they were literally born in New York and they have the accent and everything and they look just like any other black person. They were a part of the Hebrew Israelite group for a little while until someone found out who their real father was and all of a sudden, all of a sudden they are an outcast because they are stinking African. Yet still you have people, Latinos as you call them, some of them lily white that are a part of the group. That's what I'm saying. You understand? So don't try to pin that on me. That's oh, all really, you know, he's prejudiced. Don't try that at all. You can't be kicking out black people out of a black group and then say that anybody else can come in. What kind of mad? You make me feel as if you're working for somebody. So this is why this Jewish fella here now feels that he has the heels to come and attack you. And he's showing you Factually, that you are an African. But you see, the true biblical land of Israel, the true biblical land of Israel, Africa and Arabia. The, the video I did a few days ago explaining to people how they could send their challenge or their answer to the challenge to me. Somebody left a comment and said, what challenge you're talking about? And I was like, wow. And some people say I talk about it too much and now he, he's one, like, what challenge are you talking about? Of course, everybody in the world, you know, won't know, but I think I've, you know, blown this horn many, many times. I have a challenge. I have a book. It was a theological paper that went into, I turned it into a book and now it's in an e-book fashion. The true biblical land of Israel. The true biblical land of Israel. And when you go through the book, the chapters, the theory of the book, I call it a theory, just to be diplomatic. The theory of the book is that according to the Bible, the Torah, the land of Africa plus Arabia is the land of Israel. This, this Jewish rabbi here talking about, he, he cut in through, game over, game over, game over. What? Nobody playing with you. Nobody playing with you talking about fake Hebrew Israelites. You see, you Hebrew Israelites, brothers and sisters, you're the one that allow people like this to come and attack you on that level because you pretend as if you don't see your brother, which is me, and I'll show you why. This fella has 200 plus views, a little bit over 200, just a little bit, nothing too big. And listen to what this comment says, this comment here is coming from Ibadia Ban Yahwada. Yeah. And he said, Shalom, my name is 
OFC, uh, no, that, is, that must be some title, I don't know. Ibada of the Israelite School of Universal Practical Knowledge, that's ISUPK. I was wondering, would you like to voice your claims and concerns on our radio show this Thursday? Look on them level of disrespect. That's disrespect. This fella has 200 views, at least to the time I'm watching it. He just put it up today, so I assume it will grow. And of course, me talking about it, I'm sure he's got, definitely going to get some hits now. But this fella has 200 views. And the ISUPK could respond to him and his Mickey Mouse talking and even invite him to come on their Thursday night radio show. And to be very honest, you know, I'm not saying if you were to invite me that I would come because I don't play around. I've seen them shows. When I talk to people and discuss and debate, we have to have uh, mutual grounds with respect. With respect. There ain't no respectful grounds. I've watched many a people because they own the platform and they're the ones with the button. When you come and you start to challenge them, they cut you off. They try to overtalk you, pretend they're laughing, make a lot of noise and bah, bah, and all sorts of sound effects and, and change the conversation from an intelligent conversation to back and out. I see it all the time, even on that same Thursday night program that, that Ibadia is talking about. Straight up. Straight, straight up. But the point is, no one has even paid attention to me. I've challenged directly the ISUPK. I've challenged directly the IUIC. I can call the names of the people I sent the challenge to. The bishops and Bishop Nathaniel and, and uh, the captains of the ISUPK. I've given them, sent them by email, sent them videos, sent them the book. And my claim totally goes against theirs. Africa plus Arabia is Israel according to the Bible, according to the scriptures. And a lot of things comes, you know, that's the foundation for many things. Hmm? This mongoose here couldn't come and attack me like that. I would eat him alive, straight up. In fact, in fact, again, it may sound a bit off balance to you. I'm just straightening out my own brothers. But him, it's fire for him. You can't disrespect no black person. Even if the black person ain't dealing with me, that ain't the point. That's my brother you're talking about. You're talking about fake black Hebrew Israelite. Like if he's real. He's the real is fakey. You know what I mean? The is fake, the Israeli is fakey. But he's correct. Your DNA is African, but listen to this the now. The fake black Hebrew Israelites cannot be the original Israelites because the origins of their DNA, E1B1A, points to the African horn. Hear that? So what? Well, that, so what? But because everyone in the world, everybody in the world, as far as I see, I, I'm very serious about this because nobody's taking up the challenge. Nobody. So you'd believe that everybody agrees with me. But when you listen good, nobody is accepting it. Because it's me. Or it's him. And even if you don't know me, oh, it's somebody from the Caribbean. That's how they look at us. And, oh, somebody from some little island we don't know about. Yeah, what about Marcus Garvey was from a little island nobody knew about. And he came and he blew up the world. I said, and that's why I'm very forceful with it. Nobody. That listening me can deny my facts. None of you. Whether you're a Jewish rabbi. Whether you're a Hebrew Israelite captain. Nobody. Come on. Step up. That's why the Jewish clown here can have you well slap up. And have you, you know what I mean. Not the Levant Corridor as our DNA, real Israelite DNA, points to. Yeah. African horn is their origins. Of now course. the Ethiopian Jews who we are all close to as well as the Lemba African Jews... They as well are very close to us. They themselves prove their lineage is through conversion. They don't even claim to be the original Jews, original Israelites. They say they are of their father, Cush. Both of them proudly say of our father, Cush. Yet 
African Americans here in the United States. He and his father Cush. And according to the biblical narrative, who is Cush's father? And who is his father? And who is his father? Hmm? And his father and his father is supposedly the father of the whole the whole world. Didn't everyone come from Noah? Don't we all share the same DNA with the Noah? I mean, the, 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 the fella here is just ranting and going off track as far as I see. This is not no definitive proof for the point that he's trying to make. Claim, no, we are the Israelites. Again, their DNA proves otherwise. Some of the fake black Hebrew Israelites grant that E1B1B is a Hamitic Kushite haplogroup. They have no choice because, like I said, since Ethiopians are E1B1B, and we know biblically that they are Kushites, what they don't realize is that admitting E1B1B is a Hamitic Kushite haplogroup, they are unknowingly admitting that E1B1A is also a Hamitic haplogroup, Kushite origins as well. Why? This is because E1B1A and E1B1B are sibling haplogroups, hence the A and the B at the end. That is, they branched off from the same parent haplogroup, which is E1B1. You get it? Another problem for the fake black Hebrew Israelites is that we now have Canaanite DNA. Did you know that? No, no. Oh, of course not. Because they don't research this stuff. DNA evidence shows that modern Lebanese people share 90% of their DNA with that of 4,000-year-old Canaanite DNA blood. That means the Canaanites from the time of Abraham would have looked exactly like the modern Lebanese people do. In fact, this also shows that ancient Israelites would have resembled modern Lebanese people as well. well now what I'm saying, so Canaanites are Israelites now, eh? What I'm saying here, my brothers and sisters, this is the elephant in the room talking. We have a book for those who do not know, entitled The True Biblical Land of Israel, just in case you didn't know. Simple book. Didn't try to make it too complicated. And in that book, we use the Bible as the primary source. The only real challenge we get about that book is when people try to, to, try to speak about the validity of the Bible. And that's a challenge by itself, but that's not what we are talking about. We are saying that according to the Bible, Torah or Bible, any which one you try to twist it around to be, there are descriptions given, geographic descriptions, to explain properly where this real estate is that we call the promised land given to the people which Amos 9 verse 7 says, Are ye not unto me as the children of the Ethiopians, O ye children of Israel? The children of, of the Ethiopians are not like unto the children of the Jewish Kazanian people, like this fella here. I'm saying that my book, The True Biblical Land of Israel, which is available, you can purchase it. You email me and we send you a copy of it and you could read it tonight. And you could see within the book itself, I have irrefutable evidence and facts. No one can even try to deny if you're using the Bible. The facts that I put down, that the land of Israel, once again, according to the Bible, is Africa plus Arabia. And with that concretized, this dude here could not mount even a, 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 a breath of an attack against nobody. And he's disrespectful. He has more disrespect going down the line. But if you want to check him out, you can go and find him. Trying to disrespect black people. And if you want to put it this way, I sense a hint of racism too. 
and I'm being very <laughs> modest in my explanation there. I sense a hint of racism. Them killers here will tie you up and eat you alive if they catch you in an alleyway. That's how I look at people like that. You could hear it in his voice. We don't attack people unless they attack us. And I'm not even really attacking him, but in reality, you know what I mean? I'm putting him on guard too. You can't be disrespecting black people like that. Talking about them fake black Hebrew Israelites. And it's not just that he's saying. Talking about if half a brain was working here and obviously half a brain wasn't working and all sorts of disrespectful levels you're bringing to, to us as the Africans, even if they don't want to accept that they are Africans. But what I'm saying, you're quick to jump and rebut him and you're quick to invite him on your little Thursday night show. Wow, that's quite interesting. And he has nothing positive as far as real evidence. See, you and him meet together in a room. It's just back and forth, talk and talk, and who sound the prettiest. But I have a book. My facts have already been laid down. For years, we, have writ, uh, we wrote that theological paper. For years, we have sent out thousands of challenges over the years. Hundreds in the last two years alone. As you know, to universities, colleges, Christian churches, magistrates, prime ministers, all sorts of people. Because we believe that the concept of Palestine being Israel has been used to, to falsify many things on the political level, on the theological level, and on the religious level. So obviously it's going to be a detriment to most people on the psychological level. And that is why we push that challenge so hard. Hebrew Israelites, ISUPK, IUIC, what else they have? The Sakari, all of them kind of people there. You, you have no defense and you have no offense whatsoever against my theory i'm being bold here you have it when you come as a crew bring all your bishops bring your captains bring your generals you have no defense against the true biblical land of israel you understand and this is why a mongrel like this i'm being clear this is how i feel about him you know that's me if you don't like it that's up to you you don't come and be dissing Africans. This man is disrespecting us. Either. You know, you don't hear everything and I'm not giving him no more time. You don't hear everything. This man is disrespecting us. He's not coming with no spirit of brotherhood. We don't attack people, you know. We don't attack people. You'd have to come against us with a level of disrespect for us to say, hey, 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 that's not how it goes, Bill. And then we show you what's going on behind curtain number two. <laughs> yeah, that's what's going on here, if you want to call it that. But I'm serious, my brothers and sisters. Say no joke. The true biblical land of Israel has set itself now as the standard bearer. Whether you want to accept it or not, that's the standard bearer. And all the little talking from, from, what, um, from, from Hebrews to Negroes, that's a waste of time. Waste of time. Accept the challenge, man. ISUPK accept the challenge. IUIC accept the challenge. Bishop Nathaniel and all of you accept the challenge. I love you with all my heart, man. I'm not trying to make enemies with you. I really love you. I respect you, man. You hear me speak highly of you in other videos for one reason or the other. I'm not trying to separate from my people. But I honestly believe it started a bit smaller than how it is now, you know. I honestly believe that the concept that, that literal biblical land of Israel concept, there's a lot that rests on that. That's my point. And I thought when I discovered it, I could bring it to my people with an understanding. But I noticed that I've been rejected, ostracized, and people totally ignored me. So that's why, because of that, I continue to grow. I get louder, get louder, get louder, get a megaphone, get a speaker, get a whole you know, PA system, and blast it to the world. If you're not going to answer, I'm going to make you answer. 
And the longer you take to respond, the worse it's going to get. The Bible College wrote us about a month ago. They say they're coming, they're going to get back to us. I guess they're putting a team together. Up to now, I don't hear from them again. And I know that my concept is not that off. Even if you think it's wrong, it's something that you should at least consider. Because I'm taking scripture and putting it together. I'm not going to go into it here. So if you say, give us a little bit, you could buy the book. You could purchase the book, The True Biblical Land of Israel. You email me, priestisaac 27 at gmail.com and you get a copy of The True Biblical Land of Israel. And remember, you know, for a limited time, you also get the book Anu when you order the true biblical land of Israel, free of course. And the same thing goes if you order the book Anu. So whichever one you order, you're gonna get the two for a limited time. And of course, when you when you purchase the two, you get the Knight of the, the Black Tiger as well, you know. So this rabbi here needs to check himself and behave himself. Why, why you, Mr. Rabbi, you take up the challenge. You take up the challenge. I mean, your, your, your Hebrew Israelites counterpart that you're trying to wrestle with, they can't defend nothing. No, I mean, they have some good shots, you know. Let me not be, you know, put them down. They have some good shots. I know, in fact, to be honest, in fact, if you were to really go against them, I think they would give you a good run for your money. But when it comes down to the nitty gritty now, for you to get out of all of these traps, like Houdini, my brothers of the Hebrew Israelite, you just got to come to the fact that you are an African and according to the Bible, Africa plus Arabia is the land of Israel. There ain't no way, no two ways about it, no way around it, just the facts, you know? Yeah, this is longer than I thought. Life given the keep of life. Holy Emmanuel, I, Selassie, I, Ja. Rastafari. Remember also, eh? The children's book, the books for the youth, which is the great kings and queens of Africa. As I said, this is an e-book prepared for the youths, by the youths. The youths prepared this book, you know. I know a lot of people like to say, oh, I love to hear your children and the, the scientific facts of the day and they love the key Swahili love is just words out your mouth love man the youths i'm showing you children working my young princess she's a writer my young prince he's a graphic designer you see his works he's the one that does the graphic designs for for the 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 shock of the hour for the cosmic series for the night of the black tiger you understand the young princess with her key swahili she has several novels that she's writing right now. And we have a book, of which I'm a part of it too, um, that we have put together, which is The Great Kings and Queens of Africa. That's the youth's book. It's only $10 for the book. So if you have a heart of righteousness, as some of you say, you should support the youths. That's their book, you know, man. You should support the youths. You know, instead of just talking, we don't believe in talking. Me, I'm not in the talking thing. Oh, this and that. Hey, that's good. And I, we support you. Talk. Talk, 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 talk. Support the youths then, man. You know what I mean? And, and order the ebook, even if it's for your own children. Support your own children too. It's a wonderful book. It highlights some of our great kings and queens of Africa. Plus, you have a link in the book, you know, man, that carries you to other videos highlighting the same kings and queens of Africa, you know? I mean, what more do you want? What more can you ask for? And to get a copy of even that book, not the true biblical land of Israel, the great kings and queens of Africa, you email us, 27, priestisaac27 at gmail.com. Priestisaac27 at gmail.com. And of course, the true biblical land of Israel, you need that one for sure. Wow. If it was ever true, it's true today. If you know your Bible and you do not know your history, the knowledge of your Bible 
will become and stay an utter mystery. King Emmanuel the Seventh, Adonai God, Ja Rastafari. Bless him. So who is this? This is King Akhenaten, aka Amenhotep the Fourth. He was an ancient Egyptian pharaoh of the 18th dynasty who ruled for 17 years and disappeared perhaps in 1336 BC or 1334 BC. Now this is what I want you to do. For all those who are not subscribers to the Shock of the Hour, I need you to email me at priestisaac 27 at gmail.com because for a limited time only, I will be offering, listen to this, two free weeks of the Shock of the Hour. So if you're not a subscriber to the Shock, of course you've listened to the Shock, but if you're not receiving the Shock of the Hour every evening in your inbox, via the email then you need to contact me and say priest isaac i would like to get the two week subscription that is the free subscription for the shock of the hour and we will send you email you each and every evening after the shock of the hour that episode specifically that was recorded remember the shock of the hour is a program that comes to you every evening i'm talking about monday tuesday wednesday and thursday and of course, as I said, after the program, you get the recording of the program in your inbox, in your email the next day. That is the shock of the hour. And of course, it is a monthly subscription of only $50 United States currency. But I am offering you for a limited time, two weeks subscription, free of course. For the shock of the hour and of course after the two strongs or two weeks as they call it is expired it is up to you if you'd like to continue with the shock of the hour subscription so to get two whole strongs two whole weeks specifically as they call it of the shock of the hour free no charge whatsoever and you can full joy the nightly program that you ain't gonna hear on youtube and you're not gonna get on facebook just definitely contact us, Priest Isaac, P R I E S T I S A A C, 27 at gmail.com. Blessed love.